nowadays, it seems like everyone's playing this Pokemon Go! Well, to that, I say... <laughs> I got hair in my mouth. <laughs> Dang. Well, to that, I say... Pokemon Go! Pokemon is not extreme! Like me! I once picked up a Geodude and punted it the length of three football fields! I performed a pile driver on a Machop, a jumping clothesline on a Machoke, and a belly to back suplex on Machamp! <laughs> the only Pokemon that could ever best me was Magikarp. None of them! So we need to find a game about wildlife that can match me, Extreme Tommy Kendo! And my extreme levels of extremeness! After punching a lot of people in the balls and Googling, I think I might have found that game! The game that will take us over the edge, over the rainbow, from extreme to extreme! EXTREME! This is awesome! Let's do it! Alright, here we are playing Abzu, and it is absolutely beautiful from what I know, and I'm sure that that pun has been overused a kajillion times, but regardless, we are going to the depths. These are some really dark depths. We're passing the dolphins, porpoises, porpi. Oh, holy mackerel, we're now way deep down, jellyfish, man of war. This is crazy. We are down with the filthiest part of the world. <laughs> uh. And then suddenly... <laughs> Dang. Okay, well, we're actually up high. <laughs> but that was of some importance, I can only imagine. <laughs> Nice. Alright. Press what? Okay, press the trigger to dive. Sweet. I do not like the invertedness of this. Ooh. Okay, sweet. Normal. There we go. Whoa. Okay, we can swim faster. Thank God. <laughs> Check me out, everyone. This is so cool. Oh my God. Holy, look at that Goliath grouper. This is crazy. No way. Are we gonna ride it? <laughs> yes. That is awesome! Yes. I command the seas. Or, <laughs> I guess we should all bow to the Goliath grouper. This thing could eat me in a second. If it was hungry enough. This is awesome. This is amazing. This is pretty cool. I mean, these are real fish. I guess if that wasn't <laughs> clear, it's probably obvious, but... We, I see yellow tangs and California sheep heads, perhaps. So let's go ahead and explore here. We've got to find something. Oh, I call out to the fishes. Join me. That was awesome. I'm just pressing buttons now. All right, what do we got here? Press that to interact. Sweet, I found a little torpedo. Or not, this is awesome. <laughs> Alright. I'm friendly, dude. Join me, little Wally of the Sea. <laughs> Alright. What is this? Is this. It does look as though it is of some importance. Okay. Hawksville Sea Turtles. This is awesome. Especially after we donated to Sea Turtle Inc. last year. As one of our charity efforts on this channel. This is so cool. Can we ride the... Yes, we can. <laughs> yes. Take us 
where you know the land is great. All right, this way. I don't know what I was talking about, <laughs> where the land is great. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Trumpet fish. Nice. Epicness. Okay, so let's find some more animals. It's little anchovies. <laughs> There's like anchovies swimming around. Sweet. What is this? I think I see another little Wally torpedo buddy. Whoo! <laughs> Oh, I can side twirl. Beep beep. Wow. I just heard something growling over here. I'm scared. Nice. Now, my army is coming together. Of crazy torpedo things. I think those are yellow tangs. Those little yellow fish that I just swam into. Alright. I think I see something else. Let us go this way. Whoo! What is this? It's a shell! Praise the helix! <laughs> what do we got here? Some kind of sea bass? Dang, these robots are confident little swimmers! Ooh, that was so awesome! <laughs> yes, I am an Olympic diver. <laughs> and can he do it again? Can he stick the dismount? <laughs> yes, that was the best. All right, so that's one of the pools we've already gotten, isn't it? Those trumpet fish are pretty neat. Yeah, my dad and I, we, I know we talked a lot about, well, especially marine life and marine biology, but it's really just all wildlife. So I probably know half of these fish or more. Half of these beings. Oh, there's something over there. That's what I'm looking for, I guess. No, did we already get that? I think we already got that. Pool of destruction and beauty. Aha! Not too far away was another little secret. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> That's so cute how it just does a little flipsy turn. I want more fish. Let me command the seas. Incredible game. I don't know what this translates like with you guys viewing it, but just me playing this and observing all of this, it's so beautiful and cool. All right, grouper. Let's take a ride. Oh no, we can't. That's not a grouper. <laughs> it got much smaller as I got close to it. It's some kind of bass. It has red eyes. All right, where am I actually going now? <laughs> That's what I need to figure out. Uh, Lord. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Goliath grouper! I wanna ride it all night long. And I wanna, oh my god, I think it just ate. Yeah, this turned dark really fast. <laughs> okay, well, a grouper's gotta eat. <laughs> all right, I did not want to do that. I mean, I did want to do that, but then it turned <laughs> into the circle of life. And here's Pride Rock. <laughs> all right, where am I going? Come with me, fish army. Mm, yes, it's working. Aha, I think I see something off in the distance. Let us go, fish. Follow me. Beep, beep. Come hither, fish. <laughs> Fine, you don't like tricks. All right. Are you not impressed with your fish master and my somersaults of doom? Okay. So here is a sealed wall. Looks like we're supposed to do that. Fanciful. All right. I'm glad I didn't leave just yet because I think there is another pool thing right here. And we are going to release the leopard sharks. This is crazy awesome. The leopard shark is actually, it's a pretty cool fish. They're basically harmless to, is that seahorses? That's awesome. Uh, but the leopard shark is basically harmless to humans. And I bet they're not harmless to these other fish though. Can we ride on one of those? Yes, we can! Show me your ways, Leopard Shark Master. <laughs> oh god, he's- Oh Jesus, he just ate the turtle. This... 
That's what happens when I ride the fish in this game. This is not good. Oh my god, the death! The death and destruction! Actually, the leopard shark has taken me, though, to something that appears to be part of the game's... Yes, okay. The back button to meditate. Alright. We will now meditate. Oh, this is awesome. I'm, like, observing it like, uh... Well, we're gonna observe it <laughs> eating other fish. Alright. But yeah, it's like an aquarium and I can jump from fish to fish. So there's our Goliath grouper. The Goliath grouper actually, uh, I think they're believed to be born female. And then at some point, there are grouper that will then become males. It's actually kind of in danger of the uh, dwindling population because of humans and habitat and all of that. Uh, we've already seen the leopard shark. Let's go over here. Was I right? Yeah, those are the California sheephead. That is very cool. That's these uh, fish that have kind of that black head and black tail. Yes, the little anchovies. That's like the prey of a ton of different fish in the sea, so they are not predators to much. <laughs> You could consider there are many millions of anchovies that are fished every year. So with not only humans eating them and basically every predatory fish, I guess, uh, within the distribution of anchovies. I guess the only thing not eating them is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Ah! If anybody's good on that reference. Let's see what else we got here. Yeah, a black sea bass. What was I saying earlier? I knew it was some sort of bass. Look at the little seahorse! They're really interesting, they have really amazing eyesight, and of course the males are the ones that get pregnant, carrying the babies. And they can actually grip things with that tail. Very cool. Well this was really, really awesome. I like that part of the game where you can meditate, or whatever. But it's time to set out on our quest to do I don't know what. So now that I've been sidetracked, I need to find out again where was that opening that my robot friends opened up for me. Let's see. The ocean is a difficult place. Groupers bumping into you, leopard sharks eating everything. Oh. Fish are friends, not food. <laughs> that was really cool looking, but I'm scared. Oh, this is awesome, look at that. I can't stop saying this is awesome. Hey, there's a shell again. Helix, come to me. All right. I don't know what these shells do. I'm assuming we have to collect them all to be a completionist or something. Well, that's crazy. Did you see the flippers on my character go away and then regenerate? See, look, they went away and then now they come back. It's like dependent on how fast I swim or not. It looks like it actually... This is spooky looking. This is like the underwater version of the Lion King. Hey, wait a second. There's something over here. What is... The secrets that you hold? Oh... Oh my lord. I did not expect there to be this whole underwater Atlantis down here. Very crazy. And spooky. Whoa, how did I do that? I got some epic boost. Whoop! Can we do it? Yes, we can! That's amazing! Well, I guess onward to the depths we go. There are no jump scares in here, right? Oh. Holy. Okay. <laughs> I was definitely not expecting this. Definitely not. Pretty interesting. Beep. I will touch the gelatinous- oh, I will consume the gelatinous structure. No, I won't. I will give my spark to it. Oh, so incredible. Look at those manta rays. That was just beautiful. So we have restored the waters to their rightful order or something. We're bringing water to the water. So pretty. Well then, look what I've done. 
We are riding a manta ray. This is like Finding Nemo. 